Hi, my name is Peter Njonjo. I'm CEO and co-founder of uh, Trigger Foods. Trigger Foods is a B2B e-commerce business that is focused on fixing Africa's broken retail markets. Now, why do we say that uh, Africa's uh, retail markets are broken? And I think the key thing that illustrates this is the story of a tomato. A tomato in California costs about $100 a metric ton. In Nairobi, it costs about $420 a metric ton, while in markets like Kinshasa, it costs about $2,500 a metric ton. The question is, why is it that some of the world's poorest consumers are paying some of the highest prices when it comes to basic food items? And the cause of this is around the structure of our retail markets. If you look at what has happened in the West over a couple of years, over the last tens of years, there's been a rapid consolidation. There's a lot of efficiency that has been built into those supply chains. In Africa, pretty much nothing much has changed over the last uh, 50, 60 years. The retail industry continues to be very, very informal. And this creates a very, very inefficient supply chain where producers are struggling to get their goods to the retailers. And because of that, consumers end up paying very, very high prices for the cost of food. Now, when I look at the amount of money that has been invested on the continent, focused on smallholder farmers and creating food security, why is it that this is not working? We're seeing importation continuing to grow on the continent. We're seeing consumers continuing to pay higher prices on the continent. But the key thing is that we in Twigger believe that we're creating an alternative system where we can leverage technology to build efficiency into some of these supply chains and start to see the efficiency in the upstream side of these supply chains start translating to lower prices for consumers on the continent or across the continent. The reason why we want to share this idea with the world is that we believe that technology could provide a solution to accelerate food security.